Hi there, Colleen here. Uh, today we're going to talk about Squarespace's built-in um, email list handling. And this is a super great option for those of us who have different segments in our businesses that we want to send targeted information to very specific people. So for example, in my, my web business, I work with Kajabi, Squarespace, Teachable, Thinkific, Podia. I work with a whole bunch of different technologies and I also do design and I help people with maintenance and I make my own courses. So it can get a little crazy. And, you know, somebody who is looking specifically for information and tips on Kajabi only isn't going to necessarily want to subscribe to an email list where I'm sending information about all those different technologies. That's just not the way to build, you know, that really, you know, connected relationship that we're after with potential clients. Now, with Squarespace and this default email handling, it works out really great because we can um, direct our clients to, you know, very specific lists. And since I'm also a farmer, um, I've made this um, little faux page here to use for our example. And it's January here. And, you know, lots of people are already thinking about CSAs for 2020. And say you have on your farm website, um, you know, CSA. Well, you know what? Not everybody's interested in a CSA. Same as not everybody's interested in wholesale. Not everybody's interested in when you're at the farmer's market. You know, your clients are going to have very specific needs. So it's good to give them very specific options. So I made this, like I said, I made this faux page. And this could be, you know, for example, on your page about your CSAs. If someone is really interested in joining that, you could have a button for them to sign up for your list. And as I said, join our CSA mailing list and we'll keep you up to date with member only news offers and other good things. This is where you get to spoil your potential and your regular CSA members. And now the potential member, once they get this email, start seeing like, oh my gosh, wait a minute, you're offering like a 20% discount if I sign up by so-and-so date. That's a really good offer. Maybe I'll sign up. But you know what? If they hadn't signed up, maybe they wouldn't know. So I'll show you how, we, how we're going to do that. Anyway, I've got a sign up button here, but we're going to go into marketing and we're going to go into email campaigns. Now, Squarespace has a really impressive email marketing option. And, you know, I think it's perfect for just about anybody who really doesn't want to mess around with 72 different apps and going to 72 different places and just wants an all-in-one done-for-them option. I think Squarespace is amazing for that. But that's the subject of another tutorial. Now, in here, you don't have to use a paid email uh, campaign program in order to make use of this. All you need to do is click on mailing lists. And as you see, you know, we just have default. And that's where everybody goes when they sign up for, you know, an email list if you don't have this stuff. Anyway, I want to make one specifically for newsletter. So I'm going to come in here. And I have one already made. I'm just going to make that. Next, I'm going to add one for CSA or CSA membership. And the last I'm going to add is wholesale, in case you do anything wholesale. And there you go. Now you have three different segments. I'm going to click back, and I'll show you where, you, where you'd use that. Right here um, is a button, and this is a cover page from another tutorial. I'm just going to hit Edit Custom Field, and it's going to take me to the cover page. This is the same as if you had added it to a page. It's the same general principle. Edit newsletter sign up. And in here, since this is a CSA page, it's, now it says mailing list instead of default. I'm going to click CSA membership. And then I can, you know, do that, MailChimp, whatever. Advanced, um, you know, this will be, you know, get notified when we launch, blah, blah, blah. And then just click save. And what happens now is when someone signs up, their email is going to go specifically to that segmented list. And what I, I use a, a program called Flowdesk to manage all my emails. And what I do is about once every, oh, every two or three days, I come in here and go back into marketing and I check my email campaigns 
And I just look and see if there's anybody new on my mailing list that subscribed and say there was two new ones from my CSA, I would click on that. And then I could either jot down the information if it was just, you know, a handful, jot down the information and add them to my flow desk. Or there would also, if there was subscribers, subscribers, excuse me, it would give me the option to um, export a CSV. And if that was the case, I would just import then that list into my flow desk and it would add the new people to the appropriate email segment. Um, I could do the same with newsletter, um, with wholesale, you know, whatever I want to do. But the nice thing is, though, is that this gives you options for your clients. And, you know, for example, a wholesale client may not necessarily be interested in your CSA. You know, they're only going to want very specific wholesale information. And you obviously wouldn't want to bombard them you know, with like, oh, hey, here's our new, you know, these are our new hatchlings on the farm and, and everything. It's cute. But you know what? They're they're in it for something very specific. Give them what they want. That's how you build those excellent relationships with your clients. So that's all you have to do. And, you know, it's a great, a great easy way to really make sure that you're giving the people that subscribe to your list the content that they want and making them happy and solving their problems and making life better for them.